Hello, I'm Owen Honey. We know how much you love your home and we're excited to introduce Ready to Renovate with Builders and Private Property. Well, this is a series where Builders and Private Property will share the ins and outs of property renovation and maintenance by taking us through the actual renovation of a two bedroom apartment. Well, Private Property and Builders have come together to make this series a reality. So whether you're a first time homeowner, rent a property, or are a seasoned investor, this is where you'll find the inspiration and tips and information you'll need to make your home or rental property a space that is not only functional and comfortable, but also a worthwhile investment. To get us started, we chat to the property and home improvement experts. I chat to Roshana Burnett from Boulders and Tracy Lee Miller and Chad Viveros from Private Property. So this is the two bedroom apartment that has been renovated. This is where you'll find the inspiration and know-how for property renovation and maintenance. Welcome to Ready to Renovate with Builders and Private Property. Roshana takes us through the partnership between Builders and Private Property. It's been a long time coming. Uh, private property and builders are very much aligned in terms of ethos. Um, we're trying to put the same kind of thoughts into the market. People are spending so much time at home. Uh, we're wanting to enrich those spaces as a result. And um, people are very brave now. They're being very creative and they're trying lots of things by themselves for the first time. This small space has so much potential. The property market has remained resilient. Tracy from Private Property explains why this is. So we think it's um, contributed to three factors really. One, that the market conditions have never been more favorable. In fact, the interest rates are at a record low and with zero transfer fees payable on properties under one million, this makes it actually the best buying opportunity in decades. Spending so much time at home during the pandemic has made us realize that our properties are more to mean more to us. We have a renewed appreciation for property, not just as a financial um, stability, a tool for financial stability, but also a place where we can work and play and really express ourselves. So I think this greater appreciation for property has also um, benefited the industry. Um, and thirdly, we believe that the pandemic has impacted our lifestyles tremendously. So whether you are having to upscale because your family's grown or downsize, or perhaps considering moving to another province or country, lifestyle changes provides us with opportunities to purchase. Tracy explains more about the private property website. You can find hundreds, in fact, hundreds of thousands of properties to buy, rent, sell, whether it's commercial, land, repossessed properties, or if you're looking for a rental, it's really the place where you can find information, tools and inspiration to make really good property decisions. Chad Faveros from Private Property popped in on the conversation to give potential buyers tips on what to consider when choosing a private property to buy. So when we chose this property, there were three factors we took into consideration. The first is appeal. We wanted a property that would appeal to a wide range of audience, and a two-bedroom apartment is just that. The second one is we wanted it close to features that are very, very important to the post-pandemic buy of today, and those features are secure outdoor spaces, close to amenities, as well as affordability. And the affordability factor is taken care of because this, per, this property is under a million, so there's no transfer duties applicable. And the last one is we wanted to fix up. We wanted to show you that you don't need to be scared about a property that doesn't check all your boxes immediately. You can take advantage of a lower purchase price, reinvest a portion of that into a renovation, making that property your dream home. So what is the best advice when choosing to renovate your property? So I'd suggest that they know what they want when they enter into this process. Have a rough idea of what you're looking for. But don't let small superficial things detract from it. Don't let the furniture or the way the property is designed right now. Don't let your preconceived notions of an area or a suburb, a road, a complex, take away from the potential specific homes have. And I think that's where our partnership with Builders Warehouse really shines in that they'll show you how to transform your home into your dream home and do it stress-free, do it within the right budget and do it within the right time frames. Builders walks the entire journey with their customers. We've got lots of inspiration on our blog. We've got rich content there that really gives you so many ideas on how to do stuff. Um, of course, we have all of the products you need to make that vision come to life. We make sure that we carry every taste and every budget. 
Um, and then we've got really clever tools um, like the Get It Done app. You know, you can find contractors to help you execute your vision. Um, and of course, the Gift Registry app, which is a really, really handy tool. Um, it helps you manage your expenses in terms of your building materials with your contractor. Um, and of course, Builders makes it accessible for every kind of customer in the market. Um, you don't have to be uh, thinking that you can't afford it. We've got credit facilities available um, in various forms. So really, we, we walk the whole journey with all our customers. This project would not be possible without the designer and of course the contractor. I asked Amanda to take us through the process of where she gets her inspiration from. When you do a home renovation, always start with planning, get ideas on, in, on Pinterest or in magazines and make a lookbook. So you always know what the end result is that you want because it's very easy to get sidetracked by pretty ornaments, but in the end it won't all work together. And of course, Jean, who has come to supervise the role of Amanda's plan, what does it take? Jean, what were the most important design considerations you had to take into account? Well, Owen, from our side, planning. Um, planning going throughout the site, ensuring that all of the stock has been ordered, ensuring that you get compliant contractors. That's, that's basically the biggest part of bringing a project of this size together. Planning, making sure all, all aspects are covered. So Jean, the design came first and then uh, the work came second with all the structural changes that you needed to make in this property. Take us through the main design options that you had to go through in this property. Well, I went from the garage all the way through to the back door, there has been some type of changes. When it came to the main changes was basically the floor tiling, wall tiling, that has the main effect on the house for myself, especially when you walk through it, as well as the wallpaper, the back garden was the only structural change that we made was building the raised wall. So that was pretty much it going through it and then all of the nitty gritty stuff in between. Renovating is a great way to enhance your home and making it an ideal haven for all your needs. Every property has unique potentials that you can use to create the home of your dreams. All it takes are the right partners. Private Property is South Africa's leading property website showcasing thousands of available properties for sale and to rent. And Builders is your one-stop destination for your DIY and home improvement inspiration and all the products and materials you'll need. You can catch all the ready to renovate with Boulders and private property episodes on Boulders and private property websites and popular online channels on screen now. Thank you to Boulders and private property and all our guests and thank you for joining us. Get to Boulders, get it done. <laughs>